we got involved with Rick Haney at an ARS lab in Texas, you know, and uh, got invited down there. I never will forget, I went to Texas to Rick's field day because I don't know whether Gabe had talked to Rick or somebody, but Rick found out about me and he asked me to come down. And we went over to the research farm and he had planted an alfalfa field there, you know, and we was walking through it and they were bragging about this alfalfa stand and I was probably 50 or 60 feet behind because I was digging down seeing what was going on and there was an alfalfa plant about every 10 inches and I thought, God, this is terrible. <laughs> you know, I looked up at the crowd and I mumbled to myself, they just adjust the damn drill, it'd work better. And I don't know how Rick heard me, you know, I know we'll forget. And he came over and he says, Mr. Brand, he says, what'd you say? And I says, if you know how to adjust your damn drill, you get a better stand, you know. And all of a sudden I see this drill coming up over the horizon, you know, and he says, well, if you know so damn much, show us how to make this thing work. <laughs> and I thought I had hoof and mouth disease at that time, you know. <laughs> But I showed them some things they had not adjusted just right, and uh, we made a seating that afternoon, and I never will forget about a week later, Rick called me back up and he says, I can't believe how well that thing worked <laughs> after you did those adjustments. So that was the case that uh, I worked with Rick and he was doing a different way to do soil samples. And he said, if you ever need any samples, so you know, I was paying six or seven dollars to get ours checked, but I could send them down to Rick doing the, AS, the lab there and he wouldn't charge me so man we flooded him with uh, soil samples every year just to see how things were changing and that's how we learned whether uh, a buckwheat would bring up phosphorus you know we could see we'd see our phosphorus numbers coming up three or four points every time we put a buckwheat in the, in the, in the field and we couldn't figure out where it come from you know my grandma says you're buying it from somewhere else and i says i didn't buy anything you know and it was a great challenge and that's how we've designed some of our cover crop mixes and know what will happen <laughs>